What's up everybody? It's Miss Panda and today I want to do a reaction about Marcus from Atlanta Street Interviews. Before we get started, hit that like button and share my videos and please leave a comment. The first thing that I noticed that ever since him and Sonny came back from the trip to St. Croix, you haven't really seen her and Marcus hanging around ever since the trip. We used to see him out and about with her and occasionally he would drop down in her live and interact with her and her viewers. He, he does not even do that anymore. He claims that he is just too busy. I feel like he saw the real Sonny in St. Croix and got turned off by her behavior. She came off as bratty and ungrateful. I think he made up his mind before he left that island that he was going to cut her off. Like off, off, like try to like separate himself from her. But he didn't want to do it like in a mean way, the way he did Monique and Yana, because he knows that people are still giving him a lot of smoke for the way that he did Yana. I mean, he did that girl dirty, y'all. He made her hot in a closet when his kids came to visit. Me personally, I, w I wouldn't have put up with that. I wouldn't have. Mm -mm. He would have had to give me some money. I would have left and I would have went to the movies. I would have went to the mall. I would have went out to go eat somewhere. Um, at a sit-down restaurant, I would have sat at somebody's bar and got, like, tipsy or whatever. But I wouldn't have been in no damn closet. I'm not hiding in no closet for no damn body. You hear me? Okay, so people on the YouTube streets were buzzing around, asking about Marcus's whereabouts because nobody had really seen him. And Sonny hadn't seen him either. So people, you know, were speculating that they weren't together anymore and just different things like that. So finally... Marcus finally resurfaces on a live that he did the other day. He did a live where he allowed his guests to come up and give their opinion of him to his face. Marcus stated that he felt that black women were trying to tear him down as a black man and that they had like a crab in a barrel uh, mentality. I disagree with him on that. Marcus has a problem with, with people giving him honest opinions from a constructive standpoint. It seems like he won't accept anyone's opinion or, the, or advice unless you're praising him and telling him how wonderful and amazing he is. For example, a lot of people, including myself, feel like his line of questioning is, is creepy, especially in regard to his questions about S.A. And y'all know what S.A. is. We all grown here. Come on now. I ain't got to explain that to y'all. Marcus also feels that black people are like the only ones that's hating on him. In other words, I guess he's trying to imply that people are like jealous of him and trying to tear down his platform. He does has a nice size platform that he did build for himself, but people have an issue with his line of questioning because it comes across as creepy and weird. Okay. He then went on to say in his words, not mine, that he felt that psychology eats in his words, not Miss Pandas. Okay. He feels that psychology eats is bullying him, using her platform to bully him and his character. I feel like he's playing a victim for sympathy because he knows that people are looking at him with contempt because of his shenanigans with the ladies that he dated and dumped. Um, he called her out by publicly calling her um, onto her onto his panel by dropping the link and requesting her to come up onto his panel to address her issues with him. Apparently, she declined, and apparently Marcus has an issue with her titling her content as Surviving Marcus. He feels like she's trying to imply like it's too close to the Surviving R. Kelly or whatever. He also feels like he is being bullied by her. I have to disagree with Marcus. I don't feel like she's necessarily bullying him. I feel like she's stating her opinion of him, and he doesn't like it because she's not kissing up to him and praising him. Marcus seems to want to be looked at as a superhero for interviewing homeless people and helping them out here and there with little things like a ride or um, a little money or even a shower at his place. And we all kind of know what that lead to. Okay, we all know what happens when he lets them come to his house. I know one thing Marcus needs to stop playing with these women. He also needs to be careful about bringing any and everybody where he lays his head. He be like, he'll date these women for a little while and get their hopes up and be nice to them. He'll tell them one thing, but then that he'll act like they're kind of together, you know, because he bring them up on camera, kind of like what he did with Sonny. And then you just he'll get tired of them and then you don't see him around them no more. 
and he doesn't consider how they feel. You know, he don't care whether they feel as her. He know they're homeless and they don't got nowhere to stay. So, you know, they get nice and comfortable in his place. And then he just kind of puts them out. Like, that's kind of cold, Marcus. That's cold. But, yeah, he got to be careful about bringing people to his house because, you know, you got to be careful about a woman that's scorned. Okay, you got to be careful about a woman that's scorned. He know that they don't have no place to live and and they don't he don't know what they're capable of, basically, is what I'm saying. And he just feels like he could just do them any kind of way because they're homeless and in some type some type of need. You know, like needing money, a place to stay, just whatever. Now, some of the people in the comments brought up Sonny's erratic and disrespectful behavior towards other content creators and some of her moderators. There were times when people have witnessed more, on more than one occasion her talking crazy to her kids also. Like, she just be yelling at them. And it's like, I understand that she's going through something. And I understand it's hard. But she got to understand. I mean, some of the, don't get me wrong. Now, some let's, let's have a conversation here. The content creators, some of them do be kind of like coming at her kind of aggressively or whatever. Because they're in their feelings are based on like some of the things she be saying about them. I heard she docked somebody and put their telephone number out there. And the lady was nice enough to reach out to, you know, her. And I think that she came, you know, I don't think that she was being mean. But she got somehow upset with her about something and her way of getting her getting back at her was by, you know, putting her phone number out there, which could be dangerous. You know, people are crazy. You can't be doing stuff like that to people. But Marcus wants us all to ignore that, you know, and getting back to the kids, her her, her children. Um, I feel like they're a little young for her to be talking so aggressively to them, even though, you know, I understand that her kids and everything, but. It's a bit much. I, I feel like the way that she speaks to them is like a manner that you would speak to somebody that's like maybe in middle school or high school. Because sometimes you have to be a little stern and put your foot down and be a little aggressive with middle schoolers and high school. Because sometimes they can be disrespectful. And they try to buck up at you. They talk back and different things of that nature. I don't see her daughters doing those things. I mean, I don't know what they do. She's on live pretty much primarily the entire day. Um... But most of the time when she calls them, they come. If she asks them to do something, they do it. And they seem genuinely sweet. But yet she still, you know, if they come in the room, she's like yelling at them to get out. I'm on live. And, you know, like kind of like the way she, I don't think her children should be taken. I just think she just has to be a little bit more patient with her kids and at least watch or monitor the way that she speaks to them while she's on her live feed or whatever. Because people are like, they don't care if they don't like you. They'll try to call CPS on you and get your kids taken and different things like that. That's all I'm saying, Sonny. Which you'll probably hear this. And if you do, you're probably going to cuss me out. I don't really care. You can cuss me out all you want to. I don't care. I still said what I said. You need to stop talking to them kids like that. But, um, but Marcus wants everyone to excuse her behavior because of her accident. And there's speculation about how the accident was caused. Some people are saying that. She stated in one live that she was allegedly drunk or drinking before she left the club and then got into this said accident. And then there's other people that speculate and state in that she fell asleep behind the wheel. Like I don't really, really know whether she fell asleep or whether she was drinking. I know that sometimes Sunny tells a lot of tall tales. She says one thing one minute and then another, you watch something else, she'll say something else. She done told the story about the car accident several different times and each time a little bit of the details kind of change depending upon who she's talking to. Um, now because of this accident and she only has one working limb because her left arm is completely numb and she, she has no use of it. So she has to do everything with one hand and she has no legs or feet. Uh, Marcus only wants us to see what he wants us to see. He wants us to see Sonny through his eyes. Um, he also says that he gives Sonny grace for her behavior. But my thing is this. If you give her grace for her behavior as you claim, I'm wondering why we haven't seen you and her hanging out as tough as y'all was before the trip. You haven't seen him anywhere near her since they came back from that trip. Come on now, Marcus. Stop playing with us. I, he know he was turned off by her behavior on that trip. She showed her behind. 
she fell on the floor. She got drunk and she vaped and did whatever she did the whole time she was there and complained the whole time. I feel like Marcus's intentions for taking her on that trip, I think he just wanted to be nice to her. Maybe he could have been using her for content. I think they were using each other for content because if you notice why she was there, she was live the whole time. Let me explain something to you. When I'm going out somewhere with my man, I ain't on nobody's YouTube, on nobody's live, nobody, none of that. I'm into my man and we going on dates and excursions, going out to eat and, and going shopping and doing stuff. I ain't going to be up on no live. It seemed like she went there and only, that's all she was thinking about. You know, I felt that that was kind of, that's kind of rude because you wasn't really paying attention to him. He wasn't really on live like that. I think he really wanted to be into her and she just didn't seem like she was really that into him. And I think he kind of realized that too. Um... One thing's for, for sure and two things for certain, nobody is that busy. People make time for who and what they really want. So if he ain't making time for her no more, I don't care. There's seven days a week. There's 24 hours in a day. I don't care if he got to call her on his break. I don't care if he got to text her or FaceTime her or come pick her up on a Saturday and spend an hour with her or just take her and put her in a truck like she like he did before and just let her sit in the car and do, you know, go live while he does his interviews on the street like he did before. Now he act like he, he don't want to be like she got the cooties. And he don't want to be around her. Marcus dropped a link for people to come on to his platform and state how they felt. Most of the people who joined were his supporters and people who supported his behavior. But there was this one guy, there was this one guy that came up there and asked some pretty tough questions. Initially, he pretended to be a supporter. But once he came on, he immediately switched it up and said he was a detractor. He asked him if him and Lolly was intimate. You know, like Lewis and Lolly. Of course, Marcus denied it. But child, I don't know. Mm. He also stated that he felt that Sonny was going downhill fast. Now, Marcus didn't say this, but the guy who came up, I forgot his name, who came up or whatever and was the detractor, stated that he felt that Sonny was going downhill fast. Marcus immediately interjected by saying that he felt that it wasn't true. And according to her analytics, he started quoting like, you know, how many subscribers she had and, you know, you know how fast her channel was growing. But I don't think that that was what the guy meant when he said that i felt that he was referring to her behavior towards herself and towards other people marcus is good at deflecting and talking around the subject like if you ask him something about like you, you know like yana or monique or sunny like he knows how to deflect deflect and dance around the question he never quite answers it or he'll change the subject or he'll he he, he do that little laugh that he like, creepy laugh that he does but he never you know it's it's he's he's just good at deflecting and at one point, he jumped up and to, had the audacity to take his shirt off. Child, I am not impressed with his physique at all, child. Marcus swear he look good, and it's really not that serious to me, honey. In closing, I don't think that Marcus is a bad person. From my perspective, I feel that he should be a bit more careful when dealing with females and their feelings. That goes for any woman, not just the homeless women that he interviews, any woman that he dates. Also, I feel that he has to be a bit more careful about bringing people to his house where he lay his head. These women are temporary and you never know what be going through their minds after he breaks things off with them. They may try to hurt him or send him, send someone to hurt him. I don't want to see anything bad happen to Marcus. Although I don't agree with some of his behavior and his choices in women, he is a good person in his own way. Well, that would conclude tonight's episode of Miss Tan Miss Panda's Talk Time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I drop any new content. Thank you for listening. I love you all, and be blessed.